this video is going to really piss off a lot of people. I know it will, but uh, that's why we should do it. All right, so what am I going to talk about? I'm going to talk about the programming languages that are used today and the reality of them. Something I've been hammering for quite a while now, quite a while now, is that though the YouTube fanboys like to talk about, um, I don't know, JavaScript and uh, Docker and React, when people actually get into the real world, they find that there's so many jobs that are PHP-based. Dirty old PHP. I guess I'm a bit of a PHP fanboy, but not because I'm wedded to PHP. I'll dump PHP like this if it stops putting out. PHP is just so common out there. So many small businesses use PHP. Just look at the web stats. Don't believe me when you finish watching this video and after you hit like or dislike twice. When you go looking at the actual stats, what you're going to see is PHP is super popular. It's unbelievably popular. It's amazing how widely used it is among small business. And guess what? 80% of jobs 80% of jobs are small business. That's just a fact that matters. Now, that all being said, PHP, since PHP, I would argue, 5.6, now it's at 8. PHP 5.6 and up is pretty, pretty capable in terms of what it can do in terms of its uh, ability to manage large amounts of users and so forth. PHP 8, in fact, was released, was a release of PHP specifically for enterprise features, enterprise tools, if you will. It brings it right up to par with everything else out there. So you have to ask yourself, why is PHP so hated amongst the nerd intelligentsia, shall we say, though it's so widely used? Well, it's so widely used because it was just super approachable and easy. And that, it's, that legacy of approachability, ease of use, easy of deployment, easy of deployment rather, is why it's, it's so, so popular, why it's everywhere now. Don't get me wrong. You can find fantastic products made with every stack out there. Find, you can find great stuff done with Node, great stuff with Python, great stuff, stuff done with C Sharp and .NET, great stuff with Java, and great stuff with PHP. No question. I've been fortunate enough that since I own the companies, that I have uh, owned and we, I develop apps for, I could choose any language I want. So the last SaaS that I developed from scratch was uh, the Studio Web Software. And this is my interactive trading platform. Today, lots and lots of schools and districts use it. So when I conceived of it many years ago and I designed it, I, I looked at all the languages. I looked at Java, I looked at .NET, I looked at Python with Django. I looked at Node, of course, uh, with the Express uh, MVC. I think it was Express, but anyway, no. And I looked at PHP. And I went with PHP because I even looked at Ruby on Rails, believe it or not. I went with PHP for several reasons. A, very performant. B, uh, easy to train up somebody in it. C, really easy to set up. Like, you know, Try setting up Node. You gotta, you gotta download this. You gotta do that. Blah, 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 blah. With PHP, you just upload, upload your PHP pages to the server, and you're fine. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. Is it the prettiest language? <laughs> no. 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 I would say a Python is prettier. I find Java prettier. I find C sharp prettier. Uh, Python. <sighs> The only thing, I don't like the carriage returns in Python. I like braces. I'm kind of a curly braces type of person. It is what it is, man. You know, just don't take my word for it. Like, you know, trust me, if one day JavaScript started dominating the back end as PHP does and NPM was clean, dependencies didn't get broken every two seconds. In all fairness, I haven't looked at that in a long time. But that was back in the day. That was one of the main reasons I decided to not go with JS. That was my... My inclination was to go JS full stack node, but then I saw NPM as a kind of a mess. I said, I don't need that. I don't need that. Despite the stated advantages 
if a JS of JS full stack might have. You don't want to go there. You don't want to get tricked by the bubbles, by the sparkling lights of a development platform. You kind of have to look at the whole platform. You have to look at everything that's involved. When I say platform, the language. Ecosystem is everything. That's why dreaded WordPress, yeah, it's got a lot of bad things about it. But dude, there's so many WordPress sites. It's such a huge ecosystem. And I know WordPress devs were making a ton of money. Ton of money because so many businesses rely on it. Yes, it sucks in some places. In other places, it does very, very, very well. If you make your own product from scratch, as I've done a few times, then you have the choice. You can choose whatever to use. I developed a dating site, as an example, with Java. My own framework, Java Pojos, Servlets, JSPs, uh, and Java Beans. I've done stuff in all kinds of different wacky languages. We even developed clients in Ruby. Uh, not web apps, just a uh, command line client. Single threaded, not too much concurrency, so I was able to handle it. I'm telling you, when you get into the workforce, you're going to see the PHP world is very different. The world is very different than the YouTubers would have you believe. And that world is filled with PHP. Thank you.